Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a fun one for you today. We've got this autoplay video and what we've done is we've hidden the controls so it's going to play regardless. They can't switch it off, they can visit it on YouTube and turn on the volume and switch it off. But we've got it looping, we've got it muted and we've got it auto playing without controls. Really easy to do. So let's show you how. First thing I'm going to do is go over to YouTube. Find the video that you want. Most of them will allow you to embed. To embed a video. Hit the little share button down here. You'll find a little embed button at the top. If you can't see it, just scroll along a little bit. It may be obscured because there's quite a few buttons up here. Hit the embed. Now with mine, I kind of wanted mine to start at the 50 second mark. So before you actually hit the embed, if you want to start it at a certain mark, take your video to wherever you want to start it. I will leave mine at 50. Hit the share, hit the embed, and you'll find that it's put it in for you. You can type it in manually if you need to. So I'm going to check that. And it adds it to our bit of code up here. When you're happy, hit the copy. Great. Well, let's go back to our Divi site now. We'll enable the builder. Now, one thing to remember about videos, especially if you're going to have them on autoplay, is they do take up a little bit of server resources and they can lead to a bit of a slowdown on your site load time. So my recommendation would be to have them below the fold. And below the fold means when you load a site, you get the page that you see here. Usually they call that the hero section. Anything below that is called below the fold. And it's an old newspaper term. So it's a bit out of date, but that's what it means. That way your site can load the video down there and they're busy reading your nice little hero section up here. And by the time they roll down, it's all nicely loaded and it'll give you a better speed score that way. I know quite often clients insist on having it there. If they do, they do. So let's get rid of this. What I've got going on here, I've got a little section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row. I've actually got nothing in my left-hand column. In my right-hand column, I'm going to put a code module. There's the code module. And all we need to do is put the cursor in there and paste the code we just copied from YouTube in. Control V to paste. And that's it. Put that nice little video in there. But it's static. They can click on it. They can play it. In fact, if I play it, it's got the sound. We do now. I'll take the sound down. It's got the controls. It's going to stop at the end. And we want it to loop. So let's change all that. I'm going to just stop it again. What we need to do is roll down, have a look at the code. First thing we see is a URL within some inverted commas here. And that's the actual URL of our YouTube video. And then we've got the start time of 50 there. And that's all within some inverted commas. Make sure you don't cut off those inverted commas or go outside them. I'm going to come put my cursor at the end of the 50 there. I'm going to put an ampersand or the and sign with no gap after the 50 there. I'm going to say autoplay, A-U-T-O-P-L-A-Y equals one. And we can see now it's auto play. I've already muted it. By default, it's not muted. And I really don't want to hear the sound with it. Because that's really off putting. And it also, if you've got auto play sound, it'll get blocked on a lot of devices. So right after our last command, which is auto play equals one, I want to mute it. So I'm going to put another ampersand. Mute equals one. And it's going to restart. And it's going to start muted this time. Fantastic. Now, if you want it to loop, if it's a short video and you want it to keep playing and looping, we can add loop equals one after our last one. Ampersand. Loop equals one. It'll loop around each time it gets to the end. And I'll put these code down below the video for anybody that wants to copy it from down there. And of course, I want to hide those controls. I want to hide the mute 
audio and the stop and start and everything like that. So to do that, you guessed it, another ampersand and controls equal zero. Now, if we hover the mouse over there, there's no start and stop or volume or anything like that. The video is just going to play. And that's a great little feature, as you can see, really easy to do. They did have one where you could get rid of the YouTube logo. It was called Modest Branding, but I don't think it works anymore. If I put that in there, it doesn't have any effect at all. So it's probably been dis depreciated. To have it mute, loop, and hide the controls, that's the way to do it. Let's save our changes, make sure it's all going to work on the front end. Save draft. Let's exit the Visual Builder. Here's our little hero section. We can roll on down. Our video should have started playing already. Fantastic. As you can see, it's auto playing. As you can hear or can't hear, there's no audio with it. If I roll over, there's no controls. We've just got the little logo up there and the title. And once it gets to the end, it's going to loop around again because we've added loop. Like I say, I'll put those little codes down below. Make sure I don't have any gaps between any of that, those spaces, and you should be good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them. We'll make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.